Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today we are here for another Caveco Sport review. You already know me, I am a big fan of Caveco pens, so this is just another Caveco Sport that I'm reviewing and I'll try to make this short enough uh, not to bother you too much because this pen is just like many others I showed you already but I think it is useful for you to see the review of each pen at least that is the way I think because I find it um, nice when I go for myself if I want to buy a pen I like to, 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 to search for it and I prefer to see the review of the actual variation, color, nib, so on, that I'm really getting. So if I'm going for a blue pen from whatever brand, I prefer to find that brand with that blue color instead of the red review, because I like to compare stuff and so on. So that is why I make all these Kavec reviews, although the pens are roughly the same thing. So. This is enough of this, and let's see now the pen that I'm reviewing. And so, first of all, I have to say that this pen was sent to me by um, Caveco for review, so thank you, nice people at Caveco. And the pen came inside a metal tin, a metal box, with uh, this black sleeve that comes out and inside you have the tin box that says Caveco and then license to write Germany since 1883 and it has Caveco logo you will have will get one of the boxes there are some there are there is this one there is a black one there is also a silver one and I'm not sure what else, but you can check the video that I made, I made a video once, about the uh, various Caveco boxes and cases that you can check. And here it has the address of Caveco. And so, this is it. Let's open it. Inside you have the paper with uh, instructions and stuff. And you have the nice shiny sticker. I have lots of those. And then we have the pen. And today comes inside one of these sleeves. I don't really know uh, what the original sleeve of this one. It usually has a sticker here with the barcode and some information. I just peeled it out and I use these back for all my reviews of Caveco pens because it's like a generic thing. Now let's put this back inside and close the tin and let's look at the pen. So the Caveco Sport pen, the Caveco Sport model is, this is valid for, this is true for the metal ones or the plastic ones, is overall a small cylindrical pen that has um, uh, an octagonal cap with the logo made of metal on the top of the cap. It usually says Caveco AL Sport or Steel Sport or whatever it is, Germany, in one of the facets. It uncaps and let's mark it here. Let's see how many turns it takes to uncap a Caveco Sport. One turn and one turn and one quarter and you have in this pen a fine nib but it comes with there are several sizes of the nib this is a fine nib this is a steel nib the nib on the metal caveco sport pens they have a, a collar here and you can unscrew the whole um, unit with feed and nib all together and put in some other pen so it is easier. You can unscrew the barrel all made of metal and you have 
a cartridge or you can put here the two mini Caveco um, one of the two mini Caveco uh, filler uh, sorry uh, converters yes the pen is real small it is a short pen and maybe I can I, I definitely can but maybe not everyone but maybe you can use it like this and post it but the pen is really made to be used posted and when you post the pen it becomes a full-sized pen so this is a nice feature that I like on Cavex they are uh, pocket pens they are screw the cap screws to orange screws to and cap but it just simply slides into uh, post and write. So very quick to use. I like this. I like the nibs. Many people, there are so many complaints about the Caveco nibs online and it's really hard for me to understand that. And I'm not saying this because I get pens from Caveco directly for review, but I received the pens, but I, there are many of those that I bought. I have over 100 different Caveco sport pens and the only pen I think it was not that good was an extra fine nib that I thought it was too dry. Besides that I didn't have any problem with my Caveco Sport and they have such a big collection that I think it should be representative somehow. So it's strange that so many people talk about Cavecos and some nib performing issues. Uh, I use mainly F's and M's so maybe they are experiencing trouble on AFs or Bs or double broads. I'm not sure. However, um, I think there is also some detail else that that I found someday. Sometimes when you buy these pens from the retailers, they may be on stock for a long time. And that happens when you spot a pen that is an older a uh, version that you get from a store, maybe it was stuck there for 10-20 years and you get the pen and sometimes, and that happened to me as I told you, sometimes the nib, the, the cartridge that is inside has uh, dried out a little bit and sometimes it gets even solid and I have one, one pen that once was totally um, clogged with that but it was because of the cartridge then I replaced the ink that I have to take the nib out and clean that all and it was writing again perfectly but I could perfectly identify that the problem was with the cartridge that came included it was there for so long that it had evaporated so this is something that I uh, advise you to do check the cartridge that comes with the pen and if you decide to use it check if it is not dry. If it is, if it has evaporated a little bit, just add a little bit of water with a syringe, uh, shake it a little bit and see if there is, if it is like a, 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 uh, an actual solution of the, of the, or if there is small particles there. If there are small particles, it means there was some precipitate and then it will be bad for your pen. If it dissolves perfectly, so no problem, then it's ready to use, but maybe it's not a good idea to use a, a cartridge that has evaporated without adding some water and checking if the ink is still fluid and good to go. This is something that I had to show. So, uh, the pen, this pen is made of aluminium, because that is the AL Sport, so all the pen is made of aluminium, except the nib that is metal, it is steel, the top that is steel also, and the nib and feed. And this pen is interesting, similar to the plastic ones, but the plastic ones have a ridge here that uh, has a serrated end like the coins, uh, the edges of the coins, the metal ones don't have that feature. So, this is the overall of the pen. As I told you, it becomes a full-sized pen when posted and this is something that is quite nice. So, for me, that's the definition of a pocket pen. Too short when it is kept or unposted and full-size when it is 
sorry, when it is kept or and posted, and full size when posted. Just for the size comparison, the Caveco AL Sport, this is the silver version because it's the regular AL Sport. This is a Parker Centennial Fold, let's put it like this, for it to fit, and a Lamy LX Ruthenium, which is the same size of a Lamy Safari, and it's for I use it for reference, and you can see the Caveco is much smaller. But when you uncap and post the Caveco Sport, and when you uncap the Lamy, and I think that Lamy is not meant to be used posted because it comes it becomes too long. Also, the same applies to the Parker Dufold, and you can see that the Caveco is no longer a small pen. It is a little bit on the slim side, but it is not a small pen. Just for some comparison, I, I usually like to make color comparisons. There is no actual color comparison of this pen, but I thought that maybe I will could show you other AL sports that have the same kind of feeling. So this is the silver, which means it is kind of a matte finish, but it is smooth. So I would say it is like a satin. Not really a matte, but a satin finish. There is also, or satin, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. There, this is the silver one. There is the raw aluminium. This is very hard to light this. I know that this video may, may be very bad because of the lighting conditions. Very hard to light shiny metal pens. This is the AL Sport Raw, which means it's, it's, which means it's raw aluminium. It gets, all, it gets all scratched in every way, but it is the same overall pen. It just has a different feel because it, is, it looks even... Um, more, it seems colder to the touch. I have here also the AEL Sport Anthracite, which is a darker color of that. You can see the comparison. And I brought to this thing also this one, the AEL Sport Light Blue or pastel blue, it depends, so you can maybe have some comparison. It's very hard, as I told you, because of the lighting conditions. It's very hard to light this uh, video. And I also brought the AC Sport Silver. Here it is. Let's put it like near this one. And you can see they are different. This one has a matte finish, like a frosted finish. And this one has uh, that silky touch finish, the satin finish. So they are a little different in color and feel. And I also brought the steel sport, which is different material, steel that is aluminium. This is much heavier and it also has a different color and here you can even compare the silver the sorry the raw aluminium with the steel and they shine in a very different way now i need to someday to get the sterling sport and that would be a nice pen to compare also i also want to show you two other things that are not that common. Once, one is the metallic grey uh, Cavex Sport. This is made of plastic, but it has a grey color. It is an older edition, no longer available. Sometimes someone, some, come, some come up on eBay but it is an older version, it is plastic, and I also have a pen that, as far as I know, is kind of a prototype of the AL Sport Silver, and it is this one. It says there AL Sport, and the facets are kind of engraved, like with a chisel, and this is an older version in which the nib 
is different. It has no breather hole and the size of the nib is there on the side. I bought this pen from eBay very, very cheap and because it had the nib bent. I had to fix it as far as I could. You can see it's not perfect, but it works and the the nib unit doesn't screw out in this uh, pen. You have to pull it if you want to fix or replace the nib. So this pen is different. It is a, as far as I know, prototype. So quite interesting to put here, but it has the same kind of uh, color and they shine in a similar way. They are interesting. One says Germany and the other does not. Okay, so this is the comparison. Let's see how the pen writes. And here we have pen and paper. First, I want to say that I'm quite sorry because I always promise you shorter videos, but then I cannot deliver that. I always take too long because I think mostly because I get excited and show you some other pens and I have to say just the final thing about the, the conditions of the pen this pen costs 63 euros on Apple Boom so let's start I will post the pen because this is the way that I find it more comfortable to write with and this pen is the Caveco AL Sport Silver with a fine steel nib. The ink it has inside is the Caveco Palm Green. And the paper that I'm using is the usual Rodia.pad. And as you saw, this pen writes really well. Once again, no problem with the nib. I didn't do anything, I didn't tune it, I didn't do anything to the nib. It writes well with no skips and it is very smooth. I have to say that Caveco nibs are usually even a little smoother than I like. I prefer pens with a little bit more of feedback, but I love the model, so I'm collecting them all. The pen is not very wet, and this is something that is characteristic of Caveco. Some people, and, I, and that part is kind of a, an expectation of the, of the buyer, sometimes people expect Caveco pens to be wetter, but they are not. It's like their own character. Caveco pens are not wet pens. So if you need it, you need to um, tune the nib. Otherwise, you have to deal with these. But I find that pocket pens that you, usual, that you use mostly for taking notes, they are better. It's better they are not too wet, so you can fold the paper you're using and go on. So I prefer it like this. About reverse writing, because there are people that like it, this is something where Caveco has lots of difference between nibs. This one does not write, or it writes only sometimes, and now not at all, when upside down, but writes well on the right side. So forget the reverse writing. About line variation, you can force some, but you will not get much because the pen is not, the nib is not a smooth, it's not a springy clip or even a flexi clip, so nib, it will not work. Uh, I said clip instead of nib by accident, but let me just tell you something. Uh, Caveco sport pens have available for them uh, some slip in uh, or slip on uh, clips and I find those clips to sometimes scratch AL 
the aluminium pens. So I would not use them on the aluminium pens. I, I would use them only on the plastic ones or on the steel one or on the brass or even on the aluminium but the raw one or even the AL Sport stone washed because it already is used kind of that kind of it already has that kind of feeling it it already has scratches and so on it's not that bad if you scratch the finish in this case I would prefer not to use the the sorry the clip and I would prefer to use uh, just a pouch to put the pen in a pouch and take it with me in my pocket so very nice small pen fits well on the pocket fits very well on the pen and I have to thank you all Caveco and to all of you my viewers for keeping watching my videos and I hope you enjoyed this one if you did please don't forget to press the like button and also to subscribe and press also the bell button just to be sure you receive all the notifications of all the videos that I post. So, this is all for today. I hope to see you soon and bye.